So I don't know about you, but it looks like water park weather to me. So yeah, we're going to Volcano Bay. Um, as mentioned earlier, Volcano Bay have wonderfully gifted Adam with some tickets. Thanks, Universal. Um, I have been before, but there's one side I didn't do, and it, you kind of slide, and then you drop into the water, and I didn't get a chance to. Um, but no, you get early magic. Oh, not early magic. <laughs> but no, you get early access to Volcano Bay if you're staying at Cabana Bay, or just, I think, property in general, universal property in general. Um, so we're going to go make use of that. I know when I went last time, I got almost all the park done in that hour. And then as soon as it opened to everybody else, it was impossible to get on anything. So, well, not impossible, but you had to wait. And I don't do that. Mistakes have been made. <laughs> it was quite warm yesterday. And I was like, should we go to Universal? But because we were doing Disney, we were like, nah, stick to Disney. Oh, it's raining now too. Uh, it's a bit brisk this morning. It was not brisk yesterday morning. Yeah, a lot of pointy nipples in this video, I think. I mean, the good part is, because it's freezing, only people who are stupid would go to a water park, so it should be relatively quiet. I love being stupid. Yay! <laughs> Honestly, my brand. <laughs> <laughs> So last time I came it was blue, and this time it's yellow. Very cool, I like that. Oh my god! <laughs> That's ridiculous! <laughs> it looks so much bigger inside! Adam hasn't been here before. <laughs> Outside the Earth volcano, like, no big deal. Yeah. Then you come inside like, what?! <laughs> Oh, it's warm. It's warm. Thank God it's warm. The temperature's not that bad once you like get used to it. It's fine, it's fine. He's found shade from all that blistering sunlight. So Adam was just like, oh, you're so smart. And then took a seat. And this is where we've ended up. I've got sand in the polo, so I'm really sad about that. Yeah, yeah, you're doing, you're just doing fantastic. No. So we found a spot over there in front of the volcano. I've done my Daniel Craig's for uh, Adam's video. Go check that out. And I'm, I, I apologize in advance. Welcome to Adam Melting 3.0. It's been a week, but no, now we're gonna go find a locker. I'm a reckless, I'm a reckless man. I usually just chance it. And I'm like, if they're gonna take my cards and stuff, they can pay off any debts I have. <laughs> but um, no, because Adam has like a responsible financial situation. We're gonna go find a locker. I think we're gonna go get some shots before the park fills up because we don't want um, any child lawsuits on our hands. Peasants. As you can see there, it like chucks you out and then you fall. Didn't get to do that last time, must do that this time. The thing about the um, early access is everything tends to say right now. Um, it tends to be when it gets a bit busier when more people arrive, they start doing the tappy tappy functions. Um, and then you've got things like this where it's like enjoy any time. So interesting fact, I know last time when I came, the one hour early access gave you access to the whole park. Um, but this time we were stopped there and apparently half of the park isn't open yet. So I guess do half of the park between 9 and 10 and then go straight to all the stuff over there before everyone else arrives. I'm just happy to be here. What's that? What's that noise? Nope, thought it might erupt. <laughs> I have had the best day. It has been so quiet here at um, Volcano Bay today. It's, it, it's just so pretty. 
Um, we've gone on literally every ride. Um, it was cold, wet and raining, uh, which meant no one else was here. So we walked on every single ride. Uh, the Aqua Coaster, there was no one in the queue. So we just asked if we could go again and they were like, well, yeah, I guess. Um, so we did that a few times. It's just so good, so good. Um, but I think Adam's all rided out for the day. Um, I could probably do a few more, so might get some footage of me drowning in some of the water rides. The sun's come out now as well, so top tip, if you don't mind a bit of rain and it's forecast to be sunny later that day, come in the morning, get all the rides done while no one's there, and then enjoy and bask in the sun with very little crowds. In fact, that's like the entirety of the park so far. So beautiful. I'm gonna get Adam to film me doing the ride I didn't do last time because it's one of my favorites. So it's very wet and I don't have a water camera so I'll give you like a quick little tour of the uh, of the park. I'm not going to be able to pronounce the names but these sides were fun but they really helped my back. The drop sides that you just saw me go down, they're very fun but do hold your nose because that can be very painful. This slide I've done before and it is very fun but me and Adam couldn't get it on it because we didn't weigh enough. I know honestly I don't understand how that happened either. <laughs> these slides you come down on a mat, they're really fun but they can be painful. My tip is go all elbows and don't lean too far in the front because the water will drown. These are the rapids. They will drown you. Wear the life vest. This is the water roller coaster. It's really different. I haven't been on anything like that before. This one was nice. This is the lazy river. And if you use your tappy tappy, you can soak people. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. This one was interesting. On the blue one, Adam went backwards. On the green one, I went backwards. Didn't have a terrible time. And this is the big drop side. You walk up there and come out here. We ate here, it was very good. And we ate a lot. And that's the end of the tour, which brings us to the end of our day at Volcano Bay. This water park is amazing. I mean, the theming is incredible. The food is great. The rides are insane. Uh, we didn't actually have to use Tapu Tapu today. Everything was right now. So you've come on a quiet day. It's even better, but just, just go there. Just try it. Just do it. I don't want to leave. Bye. There. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. She's tired. She needs a shower. <laughs> I don't want to say. I will never get sick of this view. And we're about to enter you. Right, we have showered, we have changed. The sky has gone back to a shade of gray. I feel it though. Boop. Yeah. Feeling it. Yeah. Gray like my soul. Um, all packed, got all my stuff. I've taken some spare change of clothes because I want to do those water rides today. Got my Hufflepuff lanyard with my Universal Pass. Got a Pug Christmas t-shirt. Got a snack. Change of plan, had a costume change. I spilled coffee down my other top. Just one day, Sam, just one day. Got my charger. What's happening? So I'm used to seeing this with Halloween stuff all over there. So this is new. I will say the temperature in Orlando in December is actually quite nice. It's like, this cool. is what it's normally like. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm used to coming like mid-October when it's hot and stuffy and you can't really breathe. And this is not like still in shorts. We'll need a jumper at some point, but it's nice. Got my passport. Thank <laughs> God they're finally blue, am I right? We're making EU jokes now. To clarify, I am a Romainer. <laughs> I was making a... I was doing a bit. ET was fun, and now we're uh, having a little walk through Simpsons land. Not gonna do the ride because I feel, feel like three times is enough. But look at it. Let's have your best Krusty the Clown laugh on three, two, one. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> I'm dragging Adam on this. Yes. <laughs> I love this ride. <laughs> um, I, uh, what, happened? what happened? Please Adam remain seated one. until the attendant directs you to exit. I like to shoot the people that they were always spinning. We need to have some talks. We were definitely the better car. Adam carried us, I won't lie. But we were the better car. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm seven time Oscar winner Julia Morris. Jesus. Time for Fast and Furious. Let's go. Okay, Universal. All right, I get it. I get it now. Okay. Now it is Jamie's first day alone in the war room without Tesh, so just go a little bit easy on her, but don't worry. You guys will be in good hands, I promise. Bye everyone, have fun at that party, okay? Oh, that's my boss now. Jamie, the buses are here. Oh, that's what they're here for, okay. Um, let's get you guys over there. I'm gonna, oh, oh wait, that's stopped. I got this, Jamie. All right, cool. It's too big. That ride isn't even worth time in this video. I think the only thing that can save me now is the mummy. <laughs> Don't waste your life in Fast and Furious. Just ride Mummy twice. Mummy is incredible. Mummy is what every ride should be. Oh no, oh uh, wait. The amount of time that we spent waiting for Fast and Furious, even with the Express, you probably did this four times. Adam, all these people, all these adoring fans here for you. Yep. I think that guy just flipped you off. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm really not bitter. I'm not a bitter person. Islands of Adventure and The Wizarding World, amazing, like stunning. Always have a great time. Love every moment of both of those kind of areas. Universal Studios, it's just so lacking. There's so many screen rides. Uh, Jimmy Fallon and uh, Fast and Furious. <sighs> like, I, I came off angry on both of those rides. Like I came off angry because you've taken up some of my life that I now don't get back. And you as a park and as Universal Studios have decided that it is okay for those properties to take up people's time and that is not acceptable. Step up your game. <laughs> Rant over. Come on Islands, pump some of that positivity back into me. I need you. I'm ready. Please. I'm getting there now. I'm, I'm, I'm finding my happy space. <laughs> Adam has his own opinions on Universal Studios, obviously, um, but I'm angry. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. This is beautiful. Look, you're smiling. Didn't think I'd do that again. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I've been on the Hog, I'm a bit happier now. Um, we're gonna try and get Hong Kong and then see the Hogwarts projection show. And then we're gonna go to the other show in the other park. That's the one good thing they're gonna do for me today. <laughs> Plot twist, it's full and we don't get to see it. I jump in the lagoon. <laughs> It's actually six o'clock and the show we want in the other park is at seven. So we're kind of pushing it to do everything we want to do. So we'll check in with you then. And now it's time for Fast and Furious. Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, Skull. Yeah. Right, Kong done. Now we just need to run to the show to hopefully see the projections of the castle and then other park. Yeah. yeah. Again. See, now I don't mind Kong because Kong still puts effort in its scenery and it still puts effort in the animatronic at the end. But just don't waste your time with Fast and Furious, please. Oh, look, it's the Jurassic Park chief. Um, ready? Right now. So we're gonna sack off the, uh, how about, you can't see me, but listen to my words. Uh, we're sacking off the- Hello, welcome to ASMR with Sam and Adam. <laughs> no, we're sacking off the show because um, I think we're going to miss it, half of it anyway, by the time we get over there and we're not going to have time to wait for the next show and then go over to uh, the celebration need of cinema, whatever, the other one, that one. Spectacular. That's all. Oh my days. Oh my days. Okay, but that's pretty. It's, it's all the time, all the time of this guy. So we've had our food, I'm still eating Adam's chips. Um, and we've just decided we're gonna leave the park. We're gonna go to Magic Kingdom to finish on some lovely, positive, good guest services, magical moments. It's apparently horrendously busy. We can deal with that. We can deal with that because what we do experience will be good. We were gonna do Rip Ride Rocket on the way out, but of course that's down. So we're getting out of here. I will see you at Halloween Horror Nights. I'm a vlogger, get me out of here! <laughs> we had a uh, lovely magical exit just there. The guy yawned as we as we left. He just he just yawned. So have a great day. So I think fate just doesn't like us today. <laughs> so, Having a day. <laughs> so after the after Universal, <laughs> to put it politely, um, we <laughs> got a Uber to the Grand Floridian thinking, oh, we'll like see the band, which turned out to be the Carolers. And then we'll get <laughs> the monorail. Then, and then we'll get the monorail <laughs> over to Magic Kingdom. But the monorail queue is ridiculous. So we're now walking over to the Polynesian, which to be fair is my favorite resort on Disney that I've seen slash done any research into. So I, I'm kind of okay with this, but <laughs> we're then Going to the TTC, did you say? Yeah. To then, Which is like where you, if you come into the parking lot, that's like the monorail and ferry. Yeah. And we're going to try and get the monorail or ferry from there. And the park is rammed. Wait for us to have a mental breakdown and just be in the room. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the park is rammed as well. We've looked at wait times, they're horrendous. Um, we might not get a decent shot, spot for Happily Ever After, but honestly, at this stage, I just want some form of experience. <laughs> Uh, let's see how that goes. <laughs> he allowed me some time. <laughs> oh, so cute. <sighs> oh, I need to frickin' save up and stay here. <laughs> we haven't been hit by monorail. Great. Um, <laughs> no. Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble! Possibly the most stressed I've ever felt when seeing this view. Oh, and there he is, ruining my shop. 
this guy, this absolute tool. Oh, this is already hell. <laughs> happiest place on earth, happiest place on earth, happiest place on earth. Disneyland, this is the most magical place on earth. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to have to enjoy myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to Volcano Bay. <laughs> I mean, really? We could. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we've given up on Happily Ever After as well. Um, it's horrendously packed. Um, we don't want stress and bad juju associated with the show so we're gonna go to tangle yeah and maybe get a lantern photo or something um and just listen to the music see the fireworks and maybe do some rides oh we've got a pass like yeah fast pass. Yeah, let's do that the, at the end of the day you're a pass holder you can come back and see it properly when it's not christmas season I mean it I mean it was close. Like it was it, it was really close. It was very close. Thank you. I mean the scores are physically close to each other in space time, but not necessarily in amounts. But you did great. I honestly thought I was gonna win that one. Yeah, that is not the one. Walt's own idea from beginning to end, he loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. Believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. It's my personal favorite Disney attraction. Just love it. It's a bit scary. I just love it. It's magical. I have absolutely no idea when I last checked in. Uh, it's been a day. We watched Carousel of Progress. We're now doing Haunted Mansion. Then we're going to do Thunder Mountain. Then we're going to go to bed. Yes, please. <gasps> oh, I haven't seen that before.
Don't cry in this. Don't cry in this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if you've heard, but I'm, I'm kind of a big deal now. Um, Sir Sam. I was a suit of armor, wasn't I? Yes, you were the suit of armor. You were an amazing suit of armor who squealed incredibly loudly. <laughs> Almost uncomfortably loudly, some would say. Um, but no, I. It's Bell, been like, a dream. She connected with you, she connected with your she soul. She did. She called me handsome and I nearly lost my absolute mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now we're doing Big Thunder Mountain. And then we're going to bed. The last fast pass of the holiday. And that's it. That's your lot. Last ride of Disney. Boo. This is always my least favorite part. I don't like this part. <laughs> Goodbye, joy. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> happiness. It's actually so pretty, I don't think I can leave. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Adam, should we just like hide in there? We don't have we to. We can do that. Absolutely. Great, let's go. Let's do this. It's done. We're done. Bye, castle. Good morning. So it's not a good morning. It is a morning. Mm. Spell M O U R I N. Oh, I can't spell. Oh. So it's um, the final, final curtain on the Cabana Bay. Um, sorry, I didn't film when I got back to the hotel. I um, yeah, did not did not cope well with uh, with with lack of sleep. Um, all packed and ready to go. That's it. Am I gonna cry? Absolutely. Am I gonna do it on camera? Mm -mm. Um, oh, I didn't do like a hotel review. Um, there's an ironing board and an iron. TV was big and barely used. Mirror, sink, hairdryer, very shallow bath, nice shower. The safe, it's free, very nice. Definitely nearly forgot to pack that. Thank you. This is the view. Very much appreciated that, liked that. Um, I also like this part of the view because I like to people watch. They're all like ants from up here. But no, it's a really good hotel. I really like the facilities, the pool, the bowling alley, all the campfires, all really cool stuff. Um, I don't wanna leave, so I'm gonna go cry. Bye. a while. Bye. 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 So I just found out that there's a Kingdom Hearts 3 exhibition where you can play the demo at Disney Springs right now. <sighs> We're in. We're in. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. The joy on his face right now. So nice. All of the laughter lines. <laughs> They've got like a Toy Story Keyblade. <laughs> the OG. The virtual wait. Um, so we've got two hours uh, to go eat and then we just come back. And then... You can't give a UK number, unfortunately. Yeah, you can't give a UK number, but they just give you a rough estimate to come back in that case. Um, and then it's like a 10 to 15 minute wait when you're there. And then the uh, gameplay itself is about 15 minutes. So hopefully we'll have time to do it before the flight because I'm going to absolutely poo myself. Making me experience the wonders of Deluxe Burger. I've heard great things, Adam. I'm very excited. It's my happy place. That's an extreme close up. <laughs>
So they said come back to the Kingdom Hearts thing in two hours and it's been an hour and 45 minutes so we're gonna try our luck. So excited. It's happening. <laughs> I can see people playing it. <laughs> Cry again. I feel like I'm at a race. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to play this game? 13 years. <laughs> very vibrating. Did you love it? I did. I'm really upset that it went so quickly. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I actually loved that. Um, I d uh, that wasn't 15 minutes. It just plays really nicely and it looks beautiful. It sounds amazing. Your face, your face. <sighs> and now I have to board a flight back home. What a come down. <laughs> Hi. Why is it the funniest day when we're leaving? Please stand clear of doors and hold on to the handrails the same, just when the shuttle small. stops. Hello you! Hello you! Hello you! Have you got me a toy? <gasps> Thank you! It's new! <gasps> this is a new toy! So that's it. That's the end of Sam and Adam do Disney. Um, first of all, sorry for the lighting. I'm, I'm juggling like three different lamps. Uh, that one in particular is stacked on like three stories of flammable items <laughs> very insecurely. So uh, if my lighting changes throughout the video, um, I'm sorry. But honestly, it might mean that my house is about to burn down. Um, but no, um, a few things I just wanted to very quickly say. Um, first of all, massive thank you to everyone who's watched the series. Um, I obviously knew there was going to be some kind of um, audience because of Adam's channel and it's kind of why I was a bit dubious about doing it in the first place. But no, I really liked all of the comments. Um, there weren't really any horrendously bad ones, which I really, really appreciated. It made the transition into this world a lot nicer um, and a lot easier. Um, but no, massive thank you for all of the support. Everyone who's ever messaged me on like Instagram as well. Uh, and and it just it's just been overly positive and it's been really nice. So I really appreciate that. You may have noticed uh, I was a little bit mad at Universal in this video. Um, I very nearly cut that out. And there's a few reasons for that. Obviously, first of all, uh, Adam was gifted the tickets by Universal. So I didn't actually pay anything for them. And I did feel a little bit um, like ungrateful for that. I also nearly didn't put it in because obviously where Adam was gifted the tickets, I was like, oh, if I build a good relationship with Universal, maybe they'll give me free tickets. If I continue to do this and my audience grows, I could get free stuff too. Um, and I didn't really like that my mentality went there and I had to kind of check myself and, and kind of remind myself that if it meant that I had to lie or gloss over the experience for the sake of making everything sound like it's a great time all the time, then I don't really deserve the free tickets. <laughs> and yeah, so I've decided to keep it in. Where a lot of the people that do do this full time kind of rely on having a good relationship with, the, with these companies, uh, they will gloss over things and kind of try and not necessarily lie, but they will kind of be like, eh, it was okay. Um, and that's fair enough. I'm not disrespecting those people. They need to make a living. They, they, they do what they have to do. But I, at the minute, I'm not getting free stuff myself, so I'm not gonna miss that. So if I am gonna miss out on it, it's it's a good time to do it now. I don't know where this channel is going. Um, I have a few ideas for videos in the future, but whether I continue to do it weekly, I, I don't know. Um, I haven't really, I don't know the logistics. I've, I've got ideas, uh, but a lot of them cost a lot of money. Um, and I like I, I make a little bit of money off the ad revenues for this but it wouldn't even cover one of the videos I've got planned so um 
yeah, I don't know. I would be running at an extreme loss if I do continue this, so I do need to make sure that if I do carry on with this, that I'm doing it out of a place of passion and not out of a place of business mindset. Because I guess like more money could come from it in the future, and if it does, great. But it's not going to be the reality for like at least the first year if I do continue with it. So I need to make sure I stick to stuff that will make me happy. And if I feel like I'm lying or manipulating the truth, then that's not going to make me happy. So, yeah. <sighs> so that's kind of why I wanted to be transparent. And I do think that for those people that will only go once, they need someone to give an honest opinion. And if I have to carry the torch, then so be it. I'll do it. Fine. And yeah, I think Universal should want this feedback. I think it's great for Universal to get positive feedback. I've given them plenty. Uh, but doesn't mean they always get it spot on and they should want to improve on those things. I've seen the people going around with the little feedback score things. So I know that Universal are interested in um, making a better park. So there is my honest feedback. If you would like more of it, please get in touch with me. I will happily provide more of it. And I think honest feedback is good. It helps as long as it's not just relentlessly brutal um I, th I think it's good i think it's constructive and i think that's how you make sure you're the best you can be so segueing <laughs> i already feel like i'm gonna regret this but i would appreciate it if anyone who has the time uh, leaves a comment to say like i really liked this about your vlog series but you know this is this is something that i think you could work on so if you have the time i would appreciate it if you left a comment saying what you did and didn't like about the vlog series. Um, and I would like to not have to cry myself to sleep every single night. So if you, if you could phrase it kindly, that would be appreciated. Um, but no, I would. I want to make sure that if I do continue this, that I'm doing it as best as I possibly can. So feedback would be appreciated. Um, there was a few that did make me laugh actually um, already. There was one person that was like, I love your vlogs. Could do without the Jurassic Park theme. Um, being hummed all the time though and that kind of made me chuckle um there was also a few people saying great vlogs but please sam for the love of god shave <laughs> i don't know that tickled me um some of you may have noticed i leave the odd sarcastic response to comments i have a lot of fun playing around with all that so by all means contribute to that i have no idea where i'm looking for the camera i've tried to do it the whole video have you noticed are you the camera Am I looking now? But no, again, Universal, please don't hate me. I do love you, but it was a poor show that day. Um, again, thank you everyone very much for watching, liking, continuing to watch, especially if you've got to this point of the video, like kudos. <laughs> um, and thank you to Adam for inviting me because I don't think any of this would have happened without you and I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful time in Orlando. I think you're back in Orlando now. Yeah. Bye.